So I already mentioned data augmentation, not to say, I don't want to say too much more about it, but here's an example um, where we can see now we want to build a system that can recognize, uh, for example, deer, and we can now uh, augment the original image with other image where we, for example, crop the image in different ways, or we change the coloring, and that way we can generate infinite amount of extra data. And this is uh, something we can do in many uh, image applications where we, as humans, know kind of the invariances of images. We can also imagine that we kind of crop the image different places or we tilt the image to with some, some degrees. Uh, and all this will produce images that should belong to the same class. Of course, there are many problems where we don't know the in, uh, invariances and then we cannot do this. But in many cases we can, and this, uh, when you see the record uh, numbers on, on MNIST or ImageNet, they are all done with this type of data augmentation. This example I already gave, or mentioned a little bit, we can inject noise, and here we can see how we do that. Uh, mm, I don't know in this specific example where we inject noise, but we can inject noise at different levels. We can inject noise at the input of the data, so we can make these kind of uh, salt and pepper versions of the em MNIST digits. We can also add noise inside, uh, inside the hidden unit, so the hidden units in a way become stochastic. And this will av avoid that the, uh, the network will adapt to very specific features, because these features will not be in the image input image because they will not always be present. But again, this introduces hyperparameters. What, how, how large should the no noise be that we introduce? So it's not trivial to do. Here's a little bit about uh, analysis of this that I will not talk about. So. Parameter sharing, we've already seen that. I don't want to say so much about this. Uh, now we'll also talk about it when we talk about uh, unsupervised methods ne next week. Convolutional neural networks is, of course, a prime example of uh, weight sharing.